After analyzing all, we will discuss results. In S parameter, S11, what are S11 parameters? What are S21 parameters? What are insertion losses? What is frictional bandwidth? How many transmission zeros are created? You can see the details in my HFSS tutorial series. Now we will discuss how practically they can be find out. First of all, go to HFSS and create model solution and rectangular plot. Here we can see the S parameter S11 must be DB. New report. You can close it. Yes, results are perfectly fine. First frequency is at 0 0.9. At 0 0.9, second at 2.2, and three at 3.6. Here you can see that this was our work. It is first man at exact position, second at slight difference, third is also at exact position, 3.2. 5.9 also 3.59 it means 3.6 in this tutorial we are going to see what are S parameters we must need to know that S parameter plot is always between magnitude and frequency here is in db and frequency S11 plot, S21 plot what does it mean? How to find bandwidth of filter? What is lower cutoff or what is higher cutoff frequency? How to find return losses? How to find fractional bandwidth? And how to find an assertion losses? How to find transmission zeros? How to find cylinder frequency? And how to find fractional bandwidth? You must need to differentiate between S11 parameter and S21 parameter. S11 parameter, second one means the power transfer from port 1, this is input port, and power transfer from port 1 is input and output at also at port 1. Similarly, S21 show the power transfer at port 1 and come out from port 2. Here we study the power transfer from same input S11 or S22. It means that we study basically here what is reflection coefficient. What is reflection? How much power is reflected? Reflection coefficient. This it shows that how much power is reflected back to the input port because input port and output port is same port one. It shows the reflection coefficient. And here S21 input port is port one. Power transfer running port 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 one to port two. It means that how much power is transferred is shown by transmission coefficient. Transmission coefficient basically S11 shows reflection coefficient and S21 transmission coefficient. Here you can see that S parameters. 
S21 represent the power transfer from port 1 to port 2 and S12 represent the power transfer from port 2 to port 1. And similarly, number shows the reflection coefficient. Because input port and output port is same, it means we are studying the how much power is reflected. And here, input port and output ports are different. It means we are going to study how much power is transferred by transmission coefficient. Here we study reflection coefficient. Actually, we have designed a tri band band pass filter. Here you can see it has three band first band, second band, third band. We always measure band pass filter at minus 10 dB, it must be greater than in minus digit, it will it must be greater than from minus 10 dB. Yes, we are getting. All three bands from um, greater than minus 10 dB. Now I am going to calculate the bandwidth of these three bands. Bandwidth. Bandwidth is actually defined as a band which contains all frequency between upper cutoff frequency and lower cutoff frequency. Now I am going to measure the bandwidth of first bit first band. Here you can see that this is lower cutoff and one shows that lower cutoff frequency and M3 shows higher cutoff frequency. The band between this show that pass band, first pass band. Similarly, This your second, this your third, and four and five shows that second band, and M six and M seven shows that third band. M one is the lower cutoff frequency of band one, and M three is the upper cutoff frequency of band one. M four is lower cutoff frequency of band 2 and 5 is upper cutoff frequency of band 2 similarly band 3 in search paper you can, you can see that this filter is designed for these three frequencies 0 0.92 2.08 and 3.59 here in our design first band lies between an x and x axis shows that frequency in gigahertz and y axis show db here first band 0 0.92 lies between m1 and m3 frequency inside it means that it is perfect 0 0.9 lies between first band it will operate on this frequency and second was at 2.08 yes 2.08 also lies in second band in between. Similarly at band 3 the frequency was 3.59 which is lies inside it. All three bands are perfectly working for us. The chosen three frequencies. You must need to know that it is in gigahertz. 
because in microwave frequency working is always in gigahertz. You can make a such kind of a table. Here is a different values, but as I measure the values and on my you can take these values in x axis and y axis you can make easily a table for it like for band 1, for band 2, for band 3 frequencies and you can easily find the difference between them upper cut of frequency minus lower cut of frequency in this way you will get a bandwidth of each band also you can change the graph properties like in this way go to in properties you can change color that I am going to change it to green and you can also change trace type here in the script and click on OK then your graph will look like in this way you can also change from the script to step You can also change it symbol styles from horizontal left triangle to any other type circle. Click on OK. It will be seen to different. You can also change this in this line from solid to dot. Click OK. It will show in this like this. You can also change it to I am going to change it strike zero. Okay. It will look like this way. You can zoom it. These are the S11 parameters. Keep in mind, we are always taking the power at minus 10 dB. In next tutorial, we will discuss what are S21 parameter and what are transmission zeros, insertion losses, and other parameters.